Now here's a really good fun fact to kick off your week. What's going on everybody, Mark Hyman with your MHN Horror Fact of the Day. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend, I know I certainly did, got a lot of fun stuff going on, uh, mostly uh, mostly packing and doing laundry, so a lot of adulting. But it is Monday and you all know what time it is, it's time for Death Facts. For those new people who are dropping by at least once a week, usually on Monday, I provide an interesting, disgusting kind of ironically funny fact about death because death and horror go together like uh wakes and awkward moments like if what i'm about to explain actually happened to a family it'd be, be, <laughs> be pretty frighteningly awkward but hey before i get to that fact if you could be so awesome and stab that like button smash that subscribe and click that little dingy bell to be notified every time we drop amazing content right here on mhn now back to the death fact i'm sure in your life it's an unfortunate circumstance that you've been to a wake and or a funeral if you're really inquisitive like me you may be wondering why do they call it a wake well very specific reason why one important fact to know is that back in the day like way way back in the day uh there wasn't really a lot of like strong forensics to tell if a person's dead not as strong as we have today like they have a lot of checks and you know things and ways and tests to actually make sure hey, this person's actually dead. And they've had a few instances where they thought somebody was dead and they buried him and then, uh, you know, some grave robbers got to him and then they found that there were uh, scratch marks on the coffin, which clearly they were not dead. So they're like, yeah, that's a problem. So what they did was they developed wakes. Essentially what they would do is they present the body in the living room of a house. They would do that for a couple of days and then kind of wait and make sure the person's actually dead before they put them into the ground. Now that would be a very, very crazy wake. <laughs> you think grandpa's dead back in the 18th century and then Poppy pops back up. Although I have heard that happening a couple times, but uh, it's a little bit more rigor mortis rather than he's alive. Both, both very, very, very awkward. Very awkward. And that has been your MHN Death Fact of the Week. Uh, and I have a comments challenge for all of you. What's the most awkward moment that you've ever had at a funeral or wake? I, of course, will pick the very best comment, and that person will choose a future topic for a future episode of MHN Horror Fact of the Day. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>been interested in why things are called things um uh you know i, I don't know it's just a, a weird obsession that i have um you know I, I know a lot of really useless information that is nowhere applicable in life except in conversation at a bar or a restaurant or hey i remember this one thing da, 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 da. but uh yeah i think this is a pretty cool fact um i'm glad they had uh, you know more medical advancements to really determine somebody's dead by besides just you know posting them up in your living room for a couple days. So, uh, definitely a lot more effective these days and a lot less awkward.